Eric Larson, CEO of the Downtown Detroit Partnership, standing here in Beacon Park, one of the most beautiful public spaces in the core of our city, thanks to DTE Energy and the DTE Energy Foundation. Environmental sustainability is really core to almost everything that we do. We need to think about how we're preserving not only the ecological aspects of our community, but also the economic aspects of our sustainability. So we think a lot about what those that are not only living and working here, but also those that are playing in the city of Detroit need, want, and expect when it comes to environmental sustainability. Everything that we do is woven into our need to have sustained, resilient results through ecological and sustainable activities and programs. Small businesses are the front line of what we have to offer in the city of Detroit. If you think about it, small businesses make up 70% of the economy in the core of our city. So what we do with our small business partners is incredibly important. And making sure that there are opportunities to increase sustainability, not just sustainability of the products that they use or the way that they're recycling or limiting one stream plastics, but also thinking about the sustainable items, the sustainable, you know, marketable, tangible consumer products that people really want as an offering in the core of our city. We spend a lot of time thinking about how we can not only encourage, but also sort of enact, you know, processes and procedures that are much more sustainable. So a perfect example is our food truck uh, program. We have over 100 food trucks, all represented from the city of Detroit. Every neighborhood throughout the city of Detroit is represented. So there's an economic and a social sustainability to the way that we curate that program. But we also encourage them to make sure they're using compostable products, that everything that we're doing and coming out of the, the food trucks has the ability to be recycled or to be com composted. We're also working on building compost uh, 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 bins within, compost bins within the downtown so that we make sure that those leftovers, the food particles and the compostable products and utensils. I think we're seeing challenges across the country and throughout the world if we don't move uh, both as individuals as well as organizations more, more effectively and efficiently towards a sustainable footprint. We know that there are environmental impacts that are occurring around the world and we know that the benefit for individuals, they're not only those that are living but those that are visiting in sustained environments is significantly better. It doesn't matter whether it's a sustained environment that is healthier for your mind or for your body. The reality is if we don't move quickly, we're gonna have generations that are paying for this and it's those generations that we're doing this for. So for the Downtown Detroit Partnership, it's all about making sure that that next 100 years, that next 200 years is, is quality of life. It's a place that people really can live, can breathe the fresh air, can see the beautiful flowers, and ultimately can have access and equality in a space that was meant and deserved and designed for them. So it's interesting, in the city of Detroit, we have a lot of innovation. It's in our DNA. We came out of you know, the auto industry innovating, and we just continue to do that. And so standing here in Beacon Park is a great example. DTE Energy had this vision to take an old parking lot completely underutilized and turn it into a fantastic public space. And one of the first things they focused on was what is the sustainable aspects of the design that we need to make sure are built in and consistent within this public space. I also think that obviously as we move through various environmentally and socially sustainable initiatives, there are impacts to jobs, but those impacts tend to be short term and they tend to be focused on making sure that we're retooling in a way that actually becomes more vibrant, a more vibrant work economy, and ultimately a more lasting and sustained work economy. 
The Downtown Detroit Partnership has over 100 ambassadors, clean ambassadors on the street every day, 365 days a year. And they're our best window into what people really want and expect in a quality environment. And one of the first things that they're faced with is how are we recycling? Where are the recycling receptacles? Where are they placed? Are they accessible? Are they readily available? How are we making sure that the people that are in our parks are not only reducing our single stream plastics through bottle filling stations or hand washing stations, but that we actually are thinking about ways to encourage people to take that home. So you, know, you don't have to just come to a park in the downtown and be sustainable. You actually can learn sustainable pro processes from us and take those and communicate those back to not only your family but to your own communities. So I, I like to think of Detroit and especially the work that we do in Detroit as a living laboratory. And so we're constantly testing and adjusting things to see what works, what sticks, and ultimately what has the greatest value, greatest monetary value, because obviously there is some altruistic needs for people to, to move forward on, but also what has the most socially sustainable and resilient impact. We are looking at best practices around the country and around the nation. We have a wonderful de depth of partners in other cities that are doing great work. We have partners within each of our events. A perfect example is the Detroit Grand Prix, which is a subsidiary of the Downtown Detroit Partnership. We focused a lot on what is the sustainable footprint, not only within the event foot, you know, space, but also what is IndyCar, for instance, doing to move to other alternative fuels. They're running on tires that are actually made from a yucca plant as opposed to a rubber tree and are easily recycled. So all of those things go into the way that we think about the entire community coming together to embrace a much more healthy, ultimately livable, and quality environment in our downtown.